So what sure. is the history of this area? I mean, yeah, well, that's, to Amy's point, like the Duke Ellington and, and a lot of the famous jazz mm -hmm. cats hung out on U Street, which mm -hmm. is just two blocks that way. Mm -hmm. And when I, I told my, I'm from here, I'm a DC native. Are you? Okay. And when I told my granddad that I was moving on, after that, I think it turned into sort of like a, a hooker, streetwalker district. After the riots, um, things were sort of in disarray. But when I told my granddad I was opening a store on 14th Street, he's like, what? <laughs> it's like, that's not how it used to be. Um, but he used to hang out at all the jazz clubs on mm -hmm. U Street. And it's Jay Coleman, and it's totally not his typical art style, but he reproduced it for me. I just printed some stuff from old Italian paintings, and uh, the Lamb of God and St. Mark in the front. Mm -hmm. And he did an amazing job. And happily, all this stuff here, when we took the drywall down, was all there. This tile, mm -hmm. it was... What was the space before you moved in? It was empty for... About three years, mm -hmm. but right before that it was actually office space. So I was telling Skinner I'm kind of a junk store junkie, and a lot of people when they see Redeem and they see, we have a lot of vintage and antique yes, pictures and things that we put in the window, a lot of times they're like, is this consignment? You know, they think that we're... My dad's into muscle cars, so we frequently go and look at cars for sale and things like that, and I'm like, this. <laughs> I need that box. Are there any muscle car races that you ever go to? I haven't since I was little, but I my dad still. I would love to do that yeah. with you sometime. We like to shoot some things awesome. out, sort of off site, so that would Very be really rough. fun for us to Awesome. Do. Yeah. yeah, Bud's Creek. I, it's not called that anymore, is, but. That Bud's it's Creek. A, it's about Bud's Creek. Have you heard of it? No. It's about an hour and a half south of here. South of here. Yeah. Oh, we have to try that sometime. It's fantastic. Oh, that would be great. My, All right. So okay. Oh, yes. We were walking through the store. Mm -hmm. um, when did you open? We opened in October of 06, okay. so almost about two and a half years ago now. And how's it been business? It's been good. It's yes. been good. We've been riding the storm. Um, we have an amazing set of clients locally, neighborhood that support us. They're just, they're loyal, they're awesome. So it's been good, you know. It can always be better, but it's been up and You have a really great selection, and you're hitting uh, mentor in particular a really good time right now. So I imagine uh, you're weathering this storm, so to speak, uh, quite well. Yeah, and you know, for DC, there's not a lot of menswear to come by. Sure. So we kind of fill a nice little void there. Sure. Mm -hmm. Rather Kane, one of our better men's lines, moves great. It's kind of a guy's guy line. Um, they know their their detail. Their signature harness yeah. names and things like that, all made in the USA, which we love, and yes. a lot of our customers is very important. When people are trying to get that made in America, and they're trying to get that. Not very like money. Just started trying to put the collections together, but you know, sometimes merchandising, we kind of mess things up. So that's kind of poor. We have um, Lo Nero, which is another fantastic brand of ours. Out of Los Angeles. Out of LA. Mm -hmm. Love like these guys. We've had them yeah. since we opened. That's a great yeah. um, I'm going to try that one on. This, this one's one great. Well. What did they retail for? Yeah, but these are $10.69. Mm -hmm. Corpus is great. Love them. Also LA. We have a lot of LA kind of West Coast influence. Mm -hmm. I just feel like for the last few seasons, it's kind of, it's been fresh for me mm -hmm. and exciting. What are their price points? These price points, their women's are like $110 to $129. Um, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So super cute. What would be the high end as far as price points that you would uh, do, say, for sure? For sure, the highest is under $200. Under 200 Yeah, I try to do a pretty reasonable median mm -hmm. average. How about for outerwear? Outerwear usually sits around 300 Again, it's, it's, it's all deliberate, you know, I want to keep things affordable.